Campaign group Greenpeace has finally found the Japanese whaling fleet it's been looking for off the coast of Antarctica. After weeks of searching along the ice shelf, campaigners are now preparing themselves for a series of protests. This year, Japan is hoping to kill nearly a thousand whales under a scientific research permit. BBC's Jonah Fisher is on board the Greenpeace ship, the Esperanza, off Antarctica, from where he sent us this report. Gets any faster, not much. Nervous faces on board the Greenpeace ship, the Esperanza. After three weeks of searching for the Japanese whaling fleet, the radar was suddenly showing moving objects, as well as endless icebergs. Confirmation that they had found the whalers came when one of the catcher ships, the Yushin Maru, came past to see who was following them. Celebrations on board and a big sigh of relief from the Esperanza's captain. We've seen three targets, uh, two of them are doing like 16 plus knots, here is one of them, he's going to wave at us. I talked to him already in the figure chef and said konnichiwa, this means good day, and uh, they're going to make up themselves for a bit of fun the next coming days. When the largest Japanese ship, the whale processing vessel, the Nishin Maru, came into sight, Greenpeace radioed them. Our vessel and crew are here in the Southern Ocean to condemn your hunt, which includes endangered species, and to insist that you leave the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary and return to port immediately. We represent millions of people around the world who want to see an end to whaling in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. Commercial whaling is banned, but Japan goes to the Southern Ocean each year to kill whales on scientific research permits. They say there are now enough whales for them to be caught sustainably and say Greenpeace is acting illegally. Having been discovered, the Nishin Maru has now left the Antarctic ice shelf with Greenpeace in hot pursuit. If the fleet's on the move, it means it's not killing whales. And the campaigners on board this ship are calling that an early success for them. Jonah Fisher, BBC News in the Southern Ocean.